What's up guys? We got a really popular frame for you today. This frame did really well for us at the end of 2021. We are now in 2022 and we're building up another, I think this is our first frame build of 2022. We we're building up another Fiend Lewis Mills frame. Let's open up the box. So this frame is extra special to me because I'm riding this frame right now. So it's a really, really good feeling frame. If you're looking for a nice frame with really good geometry, this is a good choice. So first of all, it has the Phoenix stickers on the bottom. We got the Scarface sticker on the front. This bike has a really tall standover, so it's a really high frame. Feels really nice. I'm six foot two, so this would feel really good for me. The back end is also not too short, but not too long. It's 13.1 back end. It has uh, chain tensioners, which is nice too. And uh, this is a 21 inch top tube. So it's gonna be a fun one. We're gonna take the customer's parts and throw them on this. Let's get to the build. What's up guys? We finished up this Fiend Lewis Mills frame. Came out really nice and street. So we're gonna show you a close up of the frame. 21 inch top tube. 13.1 back end. Let's go through parts. We have the Odyssey Brock Rayford grips. We the People Pathfinder bars. e clutch Sean Burns stem. We got the BSC Jones and Forks. We put on these brand new Primo wall tires. We have the Eclat E440 rims, an Odyssey front hub, Eclat Venom pegs, Primo turbo pedals, Merit battle cranks, animal sprocket. We got a Primo half link chain, Harvester Canada post, a Fiend pivotal seat, Primo wall tire on the back, Primo Freemix hub and an E-Clad E440 rim and some E-Clad Venom pegs. So this thing came out really, really nice. We're gonna post a bunch of Mills frames. We've done a bunch of them already, so we're gonna post a few above for you to check out after. Please make sure to comment, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.